Customer Service Award for Highest Client Ratings, D Magazine's Best Realtor, Five Star Professional Award, and several other recognitions for her success and service to clients. Join her each week as she meets with the top community influencers to help you get to know the area you want to call home. Don't just love your home, love your community. And now, here's your host, Kimberly Woodard. And good afternoon, viewers. I am so excited about this episode, and I think you'll really get a lot out of this. I've got two ladies here, entrepreneurs from Plano, um, and you probably have seen their companies um if you're on Instagram and you're a shopper like me, um, <laughs> or on Facebook, it's called Town and Key. So I welcome Kim Johnson and Jen Sh- Schaff, the co-founders of Town and Key. Thank Hi. you. Hi. Thanks, for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Well, viewers see your um, your store um, online, and but let's go back. Let's talk about how did Town and Key come start? It's been six years. Yes. In the making, and so let's, let's go, go back. back. Six years. Yes. Let's rewind. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like go all the yes. way back. So, um, I, I was shopping online, and all of a sudden, I saw a little Facebook thing pop up, okay. and and I thought, oh my gosh, people are selling stuff on Facebook, and right. nobody was doing it. There were just like just a couple companies. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think they're around anymore. We've kind of weathered the storm and (laughs) changed and ebbed and flowed as it goes along. Um, And I immediately thought of Jen because (laughs) we used to go out shopping and drinking. So how perfect. (laughs) So we'd go have some champagne and we would Mm -hmm. do it with a group of girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And um, we would just have a few drinks. A lot of times we would have the drinks because we were going swimsuit shopping. Swimsuits always look better after a couple glasses of champagne. (laughs) And so um, I just immediately thought of Jen. We have always been friends and gotten along so well and um, kind of approached her and said, what do you think? I saw this thing and do you think you want to do it? And I'm more the operations number side right. and she's super creative and obviously very fashionable <laughs> and um and so it was just like a match made in yes, heaven from definitely. the very beginning we really were lucky in that um of course when she asked me neither of us had started a business like that before right. and we were lucky in that we complimented each other we didn't know when right. we started and we didn't know how important that was when we started but we she like she said she's the business in the front and I'm back, and I'm the party in the front. <laughs> uh, we're like a reverse mullet. Um, and, but it's been really good because we really um, help each other with yes. our strengths and our weaknesses. So yeah, it's actually been awesome. a little match made in heaven. Yes. But it was kind of fortunate that it happened that way. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think we definitely complement each yeah, other. So. For sure. And I think we know what our strengths are. Right. So, you know, we very easily take a step back and go, okay, that's not my forte. I don't so. math. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, and I feel like in a business you do, you need to have those, those opposite um, characteristics uh, for people and they all then mesh together because what's some, one person has a strong strength and the, it complements the other's weakness. Yes, so, yes absolutely. Well, that is, and I remember running into y'all when you, in their early stages at Starbucks and yes, y'all were working I on your that. business. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so I remember from you. So let's tell the viewers, you know, where where was your first office? Because now you uh, have this big. <laughs> Wait a minute. I might have to start drinking now. Yeah, yeah. It actually um, started um, on the floor in a guest room in Kim's house. Yes. Uh, we did not have. We didn't know if it was going to work. Right. So we, we didn't, didn't want to invest in desks. Yes. Yes. So we were literally in laptops on the floor. Product would come in. We would sit on the floor. We would ship them out. We had a printer we were cutting the labels manually um and it really started there and then we evolved uh, into desks that was a big day for us yes. we got desks we it went to oh, ikea we documented it we went to ikea and we were yes. like take my picture of my desk yes <laughs> it was big stuff for us and then from there we went to we kind of outgrew that space the right. small guest room mm-hmm. um so we had to negotiate a switch out with her oldest oh. daughter jen <laughs> was the queen negotiator of my two girls of how to basically 
kick them out of their room so we could then take over that room and move them to a different room. (laughs) So uh, there were a a mini fridge was involved in the bribery. (laughs) So Jen did a very good job of of maneuvering the takeovers. Oh, I love it. Do what you need to do. (laughs) So and then from there we um, realized that that mini takeover of the larger room was not going to cut it. So we went to her media room, um, which is it's like a big playroom, and we were like, this is huge. This is a huge space. We were so excited, um, but that quickly became um, too small. Yeah. It was overflowing into her hallway, into the guest room, into the, the other room, the downstairs. Everywhere. <laughs> so we um, found a, a temporary space while we looked for a permanent spot, and then we ended up starting our permanent spot. Um, it took a long time for it to get ready. It was our right. existing building, and it was an office space, So we, but we had a great time. We got to pick out the flooring and the paint and, you know, do some designing. Um, right. and well, then- and I think along the way, like not being afraid of the journey that it's taking you, because had we gone into the space that we built, right. we would not have known exactly what we wanted and we would have had to redo the space. So oh, by going sure. into the secondary space away from my house mm-hmm. originally as kind of a temporary spot to get us into our space that we were building. Right we were able to understand, okay, we want that, we don't want that. And because we were in my house before, we really didn't know exactly what we needed in an actual like headquarters office space. So, yes. um, you know, just not being afraid to take some jumps along the way. Right. And, and it's all a learning process, you know? Kind of like when you're selling a home to a yes. person, you, you know, they know what they want because they've lived in a home before. Right. Or we really, it was very, very, good that we didn't just jump into a new build situation yes, yes, we yes. did it properly right yes. yeah. oh definitely kind of got yeah. to weather you know what i like to say the kinks and everything yes. that's what yes. what what will work for you guys what um won't so then you knew what you were going to need yes so let's talk about you know you guys started with the two of you now how many employees do we have um at this currently time? let's see we currently have seven that's awesome. I think. Yeah. yeah. Right. Seven. <laughs> yeah. So what happens, we really hire women, yes. a lot of moms who are looking to kind of get back into the, you know, working world mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. do, do I want to do that? Right. Do I not? And right. so our numbers flow with what we have. They come and go mm-hmm. and they decide they want a career they decide that they don't. And so it's kind right. of fun to be a jumping off you know, yeah. spot for them. Yes. And we also have Carly, who is our, yes. um, our guru of everything. I yes. really should, should call she's her. behind the scene today. <laughs> <laughs> we really should call her that. And, um, she's our, she's our, our little young, young one around, yes. around the <laughs> office. So um, she's a great energy. And we, and, and what we love about it is that, you know, for us, we understand the, the fear of going into something, especially right. when you're a mom and, you're, right. and you are used to staying at home. You may have yes. worked before, but you've definitely been out of it for a while right. and you want to get your toes in the water a bit. And sometimes it's not for you because you realize that there are other things that are more important to you or it really works for you, but it only works at certain hours. Right. And, you know, and it's also um, a moving target because as our lives progress with children going to college or right. activities or family and all that sort of thing, you realize that you've got to have balance. Yes. And so we um, we understand the struggle of a working mom. Yes. We want them to have flexibility and know that we value their family as the top priority, just yes. like we value our one, family as the top priority. Um, and, and so, you know, you got a kid home from school who's sick. We get that. Yeah. We, right. we feel that. Right. right. You're, you've been in those yeah. shoes. <laughs> <You've been there. laughs> right. or yeah. like, it could be me tomorrow, <laughs> actually. And, you know, so we really like that, um, easy vibe right. and feel that our staff brings I, us. I and they're that. just all great women who we like to have a drink with and yes. talk about the things that are going on in our lives. And it's a great community. Well, and I love it. It's empowering, you know, these women that, you know, especially uh, the ones that are coming to work for you that haven't been in the workforce and workforce has changed over the years. Um, and, you know, they're just not sure how to even get started. It and can this be is very a, scary. Oh, it definitely mm-hmm. can be. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's, you know, gives them that opportunity to, you know, the, the unknown to gradually get in and also have people that relate to them. Because I think that's the you know, most difficult thing with um, a lot of things is, 
and when you're going out there, do these people relate to me? Do they relate to what mm -hmm. I'm going through? And well, and we all want to feel too. value, I think. Right. Oh, um, yeah. And that's, you know, and we really value that these women have other things going on besides right. us, but they love being there. They love enjoy, they enjoy being there and hanging out with us and creating. Oh the my gosh, vibe. We, we must cry two or three <laughs> times a week. There's lots of <laughs> hugging. It's yeah. almost like, they're free therapy. Yeah, they're there we go. And <laughs> I mean, for me, it's free therapy. I don't know how they feel, but <laughs> you can't go wrong. I yeah, mean, we just—it's a it's, great supportive team, really. And we just try and love everybody that comes in our door, and, yeah. and just you know, know they have extreme flexibility and that they're cared for, and that you know, really, we want our townies to feel like they're the utmost important. Yes. thing you know and getting their product to them but mm -hmm. if we have somebody that works for us that you know is having a crisis that day that takes the top priority oh, for definitely. us which yeah. is really really important yeah. and i think we built a strong foundation yeah. in that in our business yeah. and i think in it it kind of trickles down and i think our you know our townies feel that for yeah. sure well and i will say with your with your products that are out there what i love about it is that you have stuff that fits every woman yes um, age range as well as uh, body style and um, it's not just you know you have to be this size or right. this age to wear the things and um, so I think you guys have done a great job with Thank really you. and Thank you. Yes. I, just a little um, side note is that we're all wearing <laughs> yes, we <are. laughs> it's so I mean I am a frequent shopper you know <laughs> <laughs> um, so is my accountant. <laughs> so I guess that's town of key. Uh, but um, anyways, you know, what I love about it is that everything, you know, sometimes you're a little bit intimidated, um, you know, with the first time shopping online, how's this going to fit? How's it? But I think you guys have done a great job with when you're promoting your products with showing, you know, a normal person and saying, okay, this person is wearing, you know, this size. I ordered a dress and I was unsure. I went back and forth if I was going to wear it and buy it. And um, then I looked at the model that was wearing it. I was like, okay, this is going to work because I was afraid it would be too long. And it worked perfect. I used it for my family beach picture. Yeah, so. <laughs> we love when, when you guys use um, a product that you got from us yes. for some momentous weddings, anniversaries, yeah, right. beach pictures. I love seeing it on Facebook. Yes. And sometimes I see it organically because I'm friends with somebody. Right. Right. But then sometimes they, you guys send them in and that yeah. just makes me so happy because one of the, I worked retail in a storefront when yeah. in college and I loved seeing it on somebody and right. knowing that it looks great. And I do miss, if anything, I would say I miss that seeing it. Yes. And social media allows us to see it again. So we love yes. when people tag us or post it on our Facebook group and it really allows us a chance to enjoy it and see okay. the product on somebody and you guys look beautiful and you know our theme is our logo is being yourself is the key and to right. your point of we really want everyone to feel like there's something for them no matter yes. what the age or size and everybody in our office is a different size right. we've had we have very young girls working for us we've had right. mom moms yes. working for us I mean we we really want someone to come to our website and think, okay, there's something here for me. Right. Definitely. Right. And and the other thing, which is it's very affordable. Yes. Um, so the affordability of it is fantastic. I mean, um, you know, your price points are, you know, within, you know, you know, with a lot of people that are on a budget, you know, it's affordable uh, for them and you get it really quick. Unless, you know, unless it's not, I mean, it is says, you know, yeah. if it's not that order or it's you know, not available. But I mean, I love going uh, to my mailbox and seeing a little blue package. Yes. <laughs> it does yes. 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 We definitely try to have all price ranges because yeah. we know, you know, budgets can be limited and there's right. lots of things going on in everybody's lives. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you get a new top and, yes. you know, if you just kind of just builds you up and makes you feel good and that's I think that's just something that's super fun mm -hmm. that for thirty dollars you can have something new if it's a job interview or a family vacation right. or mm -hmm. whatever it may be and it just makes you feel special and we really try hard. We look at the products a lot. We go through a lot of product, mm -hmm. you know, trying we to see a lot of we're stuff. very, yeah. very big on fabrics and quality yep. and um you know, making sure that our, our price ranges fit into what works for everybody else. You right. know, nobody, not very, not nobody, but not very many people want to go out and spend 
one thousand dollars right. on a new dress you know right. so just to be able to they might want to they might want to <laughs> <laughs> they can. But, well and we do try to we do look at designers and yes. try to find the look for less it's yes. one of my favorite things to do yes. is find the look for the less yeah. oh man yeah. jen <laughs> i love that so she's so good yeah at it. I, oh thank you <laughs> i love it it makes me yes. happy well and you, you guys do that very well with um, promoting your products because i love to see you know here's the model or here's what we saw in you know exile or whatever mm -hmm. um similar and here's our version of it but guess what this one was a few hundred dollars and ours is you know, yeah, whatever, 30 30 yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so definitely yeah. and it really you know you guys are you have done a great job with again, st staying on top and it also is a convenience i mean yes. i know for myself i'm you know and you know, being a working mom, you know, going in all different directions. I really don't have time a lot, even though I love to shop, I don't have time to go to the store and try things on and all that. And yeah. um, so it's nice to be like at home, you know, or I get this little alert on my Instagram and I'm like, oh, well, this looks really nice. <laughs> Done. <laughs> and I have something on my yes. mailbox. With your champagne. Yes. With champagne. Yes. 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 So, so definitely. Yeah. So, and um, you're know, looking for them. If you guys have not uh, been on, um, the, you know, Instagram, you just look up Town of Key. Hey, oh, let's talk about your app. You have that new oh, app that yes. just started. Yes. So, yes. We just, uh, it launched just yes. a few weeks ago. And actually, if you, get on there and you go to your iOS or your Android yes. and you put in Town & Key, you actually get an app. You get 20% off your first purchase on the awesome. app. So that's incentive right there. Um, and yeah, it's super easy and you'll get alerts that let you know if there's like something exclusive coming just to the app yeah, or a nice. sale just to the app or just stuff like, hey, we just added a bunch of new stuff in your first to know because yes. things do go quickly. And right. I feel like we, we, it makes us sad when somebody goes, I never saw it and it sold out. And yeah. so what, because of the changes in Facebook and yes. the algorithm changes, we are trying to reach you so that you're not lost and left behind yes. and you're not seeing it until there's only one left and it's not your size. Right. So if you are first to know, you're first to get it. And well, and also yeah. everybody's, like, everybody's yes. so on the go these days. Yeah. And, yes. you know, busy is not one of my favorite words, but I know, you know, most people are. Right. And, We're multitasking a lot. Yes. <laughs> and so to have it on, you know, your phone and a little push notification comes up yeah. and you can see that there's something new and it, it's like two clicks and you're done. And it's very easy, very convenient. Yes. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, the, the shopping is just, you can see it all there. It just right. really is a fun little way to have town and key with you all the time. So. I love that. Yes. Well, let's, okay. So I have um, one last question um, and it is going to be advice for our viewers. You know, we've got a lot of viewers out there um, probably sitting at home thinking, gosh, you know, I like to start my business, uh, but they're a little, you know, scared. It's a scary thing to do, mm -hmm. uh, sure. to jump in and um, whatever, if you're, you know, just trying to switch careers or you're, you haven't been working and you're lucky, what is your, one I'm gonna ask both of y'all get the same get a question. So hopefully you have different answers. <laughs> hopefully, uh, what's your one advice to someone that is an mm. wants to be an entrepreneur and wants to start? I would. I think my best advice is just go for it. Mm -hmm. um, be willing to be flexible. Mm -hmm. Just go with the flow. There's just change every day, mm -hmm. and you have to be willing to be okay with change. Right. Can be very scary. Um, reach out to everybody in your community that you can. And we basically started by telling yeah. all of our friends, hey, yeah. we have this idea. Right. They thought we were crazy. Some of them did. They're yeah. like, nobody was doing it. Yeah. And they were right. like, what do you mean you're shopping On Facebook. You know, through yeah. Facebook yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and new. social media? It was very new, but we didn't let that stop us. Well, and they and all we supported just, us. They were... Yeah. yeah, and so the people that thought we were crazy ended up going, we've got these crazy friends that are doing this thing, and it's so easy. Right. So just reach out and tell everybody and share it, and just don't be afraid. Self-promote. Self-promote, yes. for yeah. sure. I think be that's, proud. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing that people, and I'm going to say women, yeah. have a hard time self-promoting. It is, mm -hmm. It's tricky because you don't want to be... Yeah braggadocious right, or right. come yeah. off as too vain or right but you do need to have a you know be excited about your your what you're doing so whatever right. that is um be excited about it and i would say remember to keep balance um there is a lot of times that it becomes like your baby like yep. it's my third child yep. um it is six years old 
<laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, and you will pour your heart and soul into something and you've got to, to make it successful. Nobody right. does something and become successful, but kind of doing it. So pour, pour your heart into it. But remember that, um, there's gotta be balance there. Your family is important. Your friends are important. And if you lose sight of those things, it's really for nothing. Right. So balance. I love so those tips. Um, and that goes with any business that you're going to start. Um, I mean, I take it as advice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so thank you so much, you're Jenny so Kim. Fun. It was so thank much fun. And I'll have um, on our podcast, you can, we'll have all the links that you can go shop at Town and Key. If you yes. have not yet, you need to go check them out. Well, thank you thank so you. much. Yes, thank Cheers. You. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Community Cocktails with Kimberly. If you'd like to contact Kimberly with your real estate needs, you can reach her at KimberlyWoodard.ebby.com. Hope you enjoyed our guest this week. Tune in every first and third Wednesday of the month for insights from industry leaders in your DFW area. Remember, don't just love your home, love your community.